Hello everyone, how are you? If you have not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell. In this video, let's practice English speaking. But first of all, I just want to say, if you want to speak English fluently, if you want to speak English spontaneously, then you have to repeat this video at least two times for one week for better improvement in your English fluency, <coughs> especially fluency, right? If you will not follow my advice, you will not get great results. If you want to achieve great results, you have to repeat, repeat, repeat. Right? Okay. So let's practice English speaking with the help of a mini story. This is the mini story number 5.3 about chicken scissor shop. Everything is going to be in present perfect tense. There are a lot of students, there are a lot of learners who might face problem when it comes to present perfect. So let's diminish all the problem. All right. So let's start. There has been a chicken. A chicken head. There has been a chicken for three years. Three years a chicken hai. Three years a chicken raha hai. Right? Both are same. Pay attention, please. There is a chicken. A chicken hai. There has been a chicken. A chicken hai. A chicken raha hai. What is the difference between two sentences? Well, there is a chicken. A chicken hai. Abhi hai. Ek tarikhi se. There has been a chicken. A chicken hai. A chicken raha hai. Kafi samay se raha hai. Right? There is a chicken. Abhi hai. Ek tarikhi se. There has been. Has been matlab. Kafi samay se. Right? For a long time. There has been a chicken. So we can say for three years. There has been a chicken. Teen saal se ek chicken hai. All right. So, for three years, there has been a chicken. And for three years, he has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. Has he wanted to learn to dance? No, he has not. No, he has not wanted. No, he has not wanted. Listen to me carefully. He does not want. He has not wanted. He has not wanted. वो नहीं चाहता है एक बार नहीं चाहता है he has not wanted वो नहीं उसने नहीं चाहा है काफी समय से right okay he has wanted उसने चाहा है काफी समय से okay listen be carefully do you know I want to eat chocolate I have wanted to eat chocolate in the first condition I want to eat chocolate वो चॉकलेट खानी है I have wanted to eat chocolate मुझे चॉकलेट खानी है फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम काफी समय से मैं चाहती हूँ कि मैं चॉकलेट खाऊं सो इंस्टेड ऑफ आई वांट टू ईट वी हैव टू यूज आई हैव वांटेड मैंने चाहा है टू ईट चॉकलेट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम ओके सो लेट्स बैक टू द स्टोरी गो बैक टू द स्टोरी देयर हैज बिन अ चिकन एक चिकन है देयर इनफैक्ट देयर हैज बिन अ चिकन फॉर थ्री ईयर्स तीन साल से एक चिकन रहा है देयर हैज बिन अ चिकन फॉर थ्री ईयर्स एंड फॉर थ्री ईयर्स ही हैज Wanted, उसने चाहा है. And for three years he has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. Has he wanted to learn to swim? No, he has not wanted to learn to swim. He has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. Who has wanted to learn to cook sizzler? The chicken. The chicken has. Wanted to learn to cook sizzler. Did he already know? क्या उसे पहले से पता है? क्या उसे पहले से पता था? Did he know? Did he already know how to cook sizzler? No, already he did not know how to cook sizzler. That's why for three years he has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. तीन साल से इसलिए उसने sizzler बनाना चाहा है. Has he wanted to Eat sizzler. क्या उसने sizzler खाना चाहा है? No, he has not wanted. नहीं उसने नहीं चाहा है. No, he has not wanted to eat sizzler. Actually, he has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. Has he wanted to cook sizzler? क्या उसने sizzler बनाना चाहा है? Yes, he has wanted to learn to cook sizzler. He has wanted to cook sizzler. But unfortunately. He did not know how to cook sizzler. So one day, he just decided. 
he decided only one time that's why we have to use was were instead of has and have right so one day he decided he did not keep deciding something usne ek bar hi decision liya ye nahi bar bar decision liya that's why we have to use did instead of has and have so one day he decided i want to go to my mother and she will teach me did he decide to learn to cook sizzler himself no he did not decide to learn to cook sizzler himself he decided to go to his mother and he went to his mother did he go to his mother yes he went to his mother has he been a duck for 3 years no he has not been kya ho raha hai duck duck 3 saal se no he has not been a duck for 3 years he has been a chicken for 3 years has he been a boy for 3 years no he has not been a boy for 3 years he has been a chicken for 3 years how old is he or we can say how old was he well he was 3 years old that's why we can see he has been a chicken for 3 years has she i'm talking about his mother has she been a lion kya wo lion rahi hai kya wo sher rahi hai no she has not been nahi wo nahi rahi hai no she has not been a lion she has been a hen in fact she has been a hen for 7 years uski mummy 7 saal se ek hen rahi hai has he been a hen for 7 years kya wo raha hai 7 saal se ek hen murghi no he has not been a hen for 7 years he has been a chicken for 3 years he has been a baby cock for 3 years has she been a hen for 3 years not for 3 years 7 years has she been a hen for 3 years no she has not been a hen for 3 years she has been a hen for 7 years and she has been his mother right she has been his mother for 3 years wo 3 saal se uski mummy rahi hai of course he is 7 years old 3 years old right okay so has she been his father for 3 years kya uski mummy uska uske father rahi hai 3 saal se no his mother has not been a father for 3 years his mother has been a mother for Three years. Has she been his mother? Yes, she has been his mother. For how long? कब से? For how long has she been a mother? Well, she has been a mother for three years, of course. And how old was she? She was seven years old. And how long? Has she been a mother? कब से वो मम्मी है Three years. For three years she has been a mother. For three years she has been his mother. Has he been? Has he been a dog for three years? No, he has not been a dog for three years. He has been a chicken for three years. How long has he been a dog? कब से वो डॉग है वेल ही हैज नॉट बिन अ डॉग एट ऑल लिसन टू केयरफुली नो ही हैज नॉट बिन अ डॉग एट ऑल वो डॉग रहा ही नहीं है ही हैज नॉट बिन अ डॉग एट ऑल ही हैज बिन अ चिकन फॉर थ्री ईयर्स एंड ही सैड टू हिज मदर ही वैन टू हिज मदर राइट अब अपनी मम्मी के पास गया एंड ही सेट टू हिज मदर हिम ऑम एंड कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी हाउ टू कुक सिजलर आई रियली वॉन्ट टू लर्न हाउ टू कुक सिजलर कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी मॉम एंड शी सेट ऑफकोर्स आई विल टीच यू माई सर डेट शी से आई विल नॉट टीच यू नो शी डिड नॉट से शी डिड नॉट से 
I would not teach you. She said, I would teach you. So would she teach him? क्या वो उसे सिखाएंगी? Yes, she would. Yes, she would teach him. Listen to me carefully. Pay attention, please. Instead of will, we have to use would when we talk about past. When we want to use, when we want to use will in the past, then instead of will, we have to use would. जब हम पास्ट में विल यूज करना चाहते हैं फ्यूचर की बात करना चाहते हैं सो इंस्टेड ऑफ विल विल की जगह हमको वुड यूज करना होता है ओके सो वुड शी टीच क्या वो उसे सिखाएंगी वुड शी टीच हिम एवरीथिंग हैज हैपन ऑलरेडी राइट ये नहीं कि बाद में सिखाएंगी क्या वो सिखाएंगी मतलब इस स्टोरी में और स्टोरी पहले हो चुकी है स्टोरी हैज ऑलरेडी हैपन इन द पास्ट राइट पहले हो चुकी है स्टोरी सो इंस्टेड ऑफ विल वी हैव टू यूज वुड right but when we talk about future in present then of course we have to use will but when we talk about future in past then instead of will we have to use would like in this case all right so did she say no i will not teach you no she did not say i will not teach you she said of course i will teach you my son would she kya karengi would she teach me No, she would not teach me. नहीं वो मुझे नहीं सिखाएंगी She would not teach me. She would teach him. Would she teach her father? No, she would not teach her father. She would teach her son. Would she teach herself? क्या वो अपने आप को सिखाएंगी No, she would not teach herself. She would teach her son. But she said, first you. Have to do sorry. You have to clean the room. Second, you have to do the laundry. So who? Listen to me carefully. We are talking about past. So who should do the laundry? किसे करनी चाहिए laundry? The chicken. The chicken should do the laundry in the story. So he went to his room and he cleaned his room. Did he clean his room? Yes, he cleaned his room. Did I clean his room? No, I did not clean his room. He cleaned his room. Who cleaned his room? He himself. He cleaned his room. Did he clean her room? No, he did not clean her room. He cleaned his room. But he forgot to do the laundry. Did he forget to do my laundry? No, he did not forget to do my laundry. He forgot to do his laundry. Whose laundry? Did he forget to do his own laundry? Of course, he forgot to do his own laundry. Did he forget to do the laundry? Yes, he forgot to do the laundry. So, did he forget to clean the room? No, he did not forget to clean the room, but he forgot to do the laundry. Did he finish doing the laundry? No, he did not finish doing the laundry. Did he wash the clothes? No, he did not wash the clothes. He did not do the laundry. Washing the clothes, doing the laundry, both are same. So, did he forget to wash the clothes? Yes, he forgot to wash the clothes. Has he forgotten? Has he forgotten to do the laundry? क्या वो भूल गया? Listen to me carefully. He forgot. वो भूल गया. He has forgotten. वो भूल गया है. Okay? There's a slightly difference here. He forgot. वो भूल गया. He has forgotten. वो भूल गया है. Okay? अभी भी भूल गया. So has he forgotten to take a bath? No, he has not forgotten to take a bath. He has forgotten to do the laundry. Has he forgot to do the laundry? Yes, he has forgot to do the laundry. Yes, he has forgotten to do the laundry. Pay attention, please. He has forgotten. वो भूल गया है. He has forgot. वो भूल गया है. बोलता सेम. Why? Because when we use forgotten, the third form, the past participle, then forgotten is the third form in American English. But if we use he has forgot. This forgot is the past participle. This forgot is not the second form. This forgot is the third form. So, 
in british english we have to use he has forgot but when we talk about american english we should use he has forgotten both are same right either one you can use so in this story sometimes i will use forgotten when we talk about third form sometimes i will use forgot when we talk about third form because you should understand both of them so has he forgot to do the laundry yes unfortunately he has forgot to do the laundry british one so who has forgotten american one right so who has forgotten to do the laundry the baby cock the baby cock has forgotten to do the laundry and he went back to his mother did he go back to my mother no he did not go back to my mother he went back to his mother and he said hey mom i have finished all my work did he really finished all his work no really he did not finish all his work but he thought he thought that he has finished all his work usne socha ki usne kar liya sab kuch right because he forgot to do the laundry because he did not know that he has forgotten to do the laundry that's why he said hey mom i have finished all my work and she said no you did not finish your work you should have done the laundry tumhe laundry is karni chahiye thi so who should have done my laundry well nobody nobody should have done my laundry he should have done his laundry should she have done the laundry kya yeah, unhe laundry karni chahiye unhe means uski mummy ko should she have done the laundry no she should not have the, done the laundry nahi unhe laundry nahi karni chahiye thi no she should not have done the laundry but he should have done the laundry but he did not do the laundry did he forget to do the laundry yes he forgot to do the laundry should he should he have cleaned his room kya use apna room saaf karna chahiye tha of course he should have cleaned his room and he cleaned ha use apna room saaf karna chahiye tha aur usne kiya so should he do, should he have done the laundry yes he should have done the laundry but unfortunately he did not do the laundry so he went back again and he did the laundry did he do my laundry no he did not do my laundry he did his laundry and he again ran back to his mother and his mother finally taught him how to cook sizzler did she finally teach me how to cook sizzler not me she did not finally teach me how to cook sizzler she finally taught him how to cook sizzler what did she finally do she finally taught him how to cook sizzler and 2 years later he opened a chickens sizzler shop what did he open he opened his own shop he opened chickens sizzler shop did he close the shop no he did not close the shop he opened the shop and what was the shop's name well the shop's name was the chickens sizzler shop and his mother became the receptionist there did i become the receptionist there no i did not no i did not become the, the receptionist there his mother became the receptionist there she became the receptionist there and he and she were very very happy were they both very happy yes they were both very happy and this is the end of the story i hope you all are happy as well repeat this video two times every day for one week for better improvement in your own english speaking if you want to speak english fluently you will follow my advice if you just want to waste your time you will not follow my advice of course it will not happen if you will not follow my advice so do repeat this video at least two times for one week at least two times you can do more you can do more if you want but two times are enough two times is enough if you want to do more you can do until then keep watching my videos i will see you next video bye